Hey, I'm Brian. I'm Kaylee. And welcome to episode two of our Veggie Growing in Pots. Now today we're talking about irrigation. Irrigation, very, very important because you can hand water your um, pots each day. Which is a form of irrigation. It's a form of irrigation as well. <laughs> but what we're gonna, we're trying to make gardening easier, aren't yes. we? And so what we're doing is we're setting up an irrigation system for these pots and we're even gonna automate it so you don't have to worry about it. If you miss That's a day, easy. it's all good. The plants will still be You're happy. You're still gonna have nice crispy lettuce. All right. Now, if you've never, <laughs> never set up an irrigation system before, it can be a little bit daunting because there's lots of different parts that you can use. In the Aussie garden, no, it's, it's not that hard. Yeah. No, nah, we can do it. If yeah. we can do it, you can do it. In the Aussie Gardener store, we have um, all the parts you need for what we're doing in today's uh, demonstration. And we're going to be using 19 mil pipe throughout everything and then four mil tube. Now, the reason I say that is because there's different size pipes you can get on the market. We're just keeping it simple, stick to the 19 mil and then the four mil micro tube makes it a lot easier. So I've set up this little display here to show this is the basic arrangement we're gonna be doing. You've got your garden tap over here. We've got a timer that's attached here. This is the most simple timer that we could possibly find. Simple is good. Yeah, a lot of them are electronic <laughs> and Bluetooth and yeah. uh, you know, they're, they're difficult. This one here has two dials. One dial says, how often do you want to water? And you say every 24 hours, you turn the dial to 24. And then it says, how long do you want it to water? And we want it to water for one minute per day. And so we turn the other dial to one minute. How simple is that? And we Easy. press the button to, to, to launch it launch yep. the program. Cool. So we have the pipe that comes down. We've got underneath the timer here, we've got this device here is called a pressure regulator. Uh, and that's because a lot of homes in Sydney have very high water pressure, or not just in Sydney, all over Australia, mm. have high water pressure and it can sometimes cause the fittings to not work very well. So we put the pressure regulator to make everything to 100 kPa, which is the ideal pressure for our irrigation fittings. If you have low water pressure, you won't need to attach like this. Like us, we have really low water pressure. We have pressure. low water pressure, that's yeah. right. Okay, <laughs> if you live near one of those big water towers, you mm. probably have very low water pressure because there's not much gravity fall there, yeah. okay? So then we have the pipe that goes down. It goes down to the ground to an elbow, it comes out. We then might have a pipe going this way or a pipe going this way. So we might use a T fitting to do that. And then we of course have our irrigation spikes, which are these little guys. And Opti these, these are called Octosprays, mm. that's right. When you receive them from us, from the Aussie Gardener store, you're going to receive the Octospray like that and one meter of tubing. Again, we're trying to make it as simple as possible. On the Octospray, there is a little barb on the side here. If we bring the camera in and have a look at this, you receive it like this, and this one here you break off. So we just twist that one off. And if you have a look at the shape of it, at one end it's flat, and then the out, look at my dirty fingernails. You can tell we're gardeners. It's good, you? right? Yeah, it's bogans good. too. <laughs> at the other end, it's pointy over here. Now the pointy end is the one we're gonna push into the big main tube, and this is the one that's gonna go into the micro tube. So I'll just demonstrate that. I'll grab the micro tube. Here we go, and this one's gonna go into here. All right, it is a little bit difficult to get on. So what can we use for that? You can use a little bit of hot water. So a furnace is a great idea. Fill it up with, from I your I thought jug. that was actually a coffee or a cup no, of tea no for coffee. me. No coffee, no coffee. All right, coffee. we'll stick that in. A few seconds and there's Lift music, okay. Yeah. Now we pull it out and it's very soft and pliable. And so we can just push it onto the end there and now that's ready, okay? Beautiful. Now the other end, we've got to do the same thing. Oh, Don't sorry. cover it up yet. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So we'll put that in again. Lift music. Dun, 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 we should get Jesse. Jesse right, put some lift. lift music. There you go. <laughs> Jesse's our camera guy. And we put that on so that one's ready to go. Mm -hmm. And we're going to attach that to our main pipe here. And we have a special tool for doing that to make it we easy. Do. This little gadget here. Now it's a two-in-one thing. I love two-in-ones because mm -hmm. they do two-in-one things. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they pay me the big bucks. Over here we've got the cutter here is the blade. Don't stick your finger in it like this because it will take it off. Uh, and then on this one here is the hole punch. So I will demonstrate, we put that in there. There we go, and we're gonna go. Oh, 
I love that, satisfying, that little pop sound. Very. And then we've cut that nice and neat, so very easy to use. And now we're gonna punch a hole in it, the perfect size hole for this sure. microtube yeah. to go in. So we'll put that in there. I'm gonna press it. Woo, that's, that's an even better I pop. I like that sound. That's better. a much better pop, okay. <laughs> and then that fits into there. So I'm just pushing it in like that. You can see it pop in and there we go, that's it. Mm -hmm. And this bit here is gonna go into the pot. Yep. And this is the main water tube that's gonna to go to your garden tap. Now, the last thing that we have on our arrangement here is we have these taps on the end. Now, sometimes you can just put an end cap on your irrigation, or I've seen people just bend the tube over and then cable tie it up together. And look, if you put the tap on there, it just means that you can flush the tubes out if there's any dirt in the line. So you just mm. turn the tap the right way, and then the water will come out and gets any sediment or insects and everything out of the line so you don't clog up all your sprinklers. Yes. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do it in real life. So we're awesome. gonna put this irrigation system, well, mm -hmm. some new pipe and things, mm -hmm. connect it all up, peg it down, put it on our plants and show completely how we do it all. Okay, so Kayleen's pegged down our 19 mil pipe. Now we're running it across the front of our beds at the moment, uh, just to show you and to make it easier in the video. But generally you wanna hide the pipe so you could bury it underneath the mulch or put it towards the back. Uh, so we're gonna put one of these octosprays on each one of these black geofelts. So we'll grab our hole punch tool and we're gonna pop a hole in this now. Now, just a little tip is that if you find that the hole punch is not working, I did find that on a hot day when the pipe was very soft, it just bent the pipe and it wasn't able to punch in. And so I just waited until later in the afternoon and it cooled down a little bit and then it worked great. So on very soft pipe, you might find that you'll have a little bit of trouble with it. So we'll put the pointy end into the tube. And then this is gonna go up into the center of our GFL planter. All right, so we're attaching our timer to our garden tap here. Now in this case, we've got a couple of brass taps here. I suggest it's a good idea to do this sometimes because you can have the hose running at the same time as you can have the irrigation installed because you don't want to take this on and off all the time. Now the timer will come with the fittings here. Just unscrew it from there because it's much easier to screw the top end onto the tap first, probably with two hands. And then this bit goes onto here and you can tighten that up. All right, now what powers our timer? Our tap's a little bit crooked, but I'm sure yours will look a bit neater than this. We've got a battery compartment that's hidden in here. So we just pull this out and we've got some AAA batteries that are in there. Make sure you use good quality batteries. Don't go the cheap ones because you want it to last for a long time. So we'll put that into there. Make sure you put the cover back on to keep everything dry. That's inside. And as I mentioned before, the time is very simple. You're just going to turn the dials to say, let's make it come on every 24 hours. So I'm gonna turn this dial here on the left over to the 24, all good. And then I'm gonna turn this one on the right over to the one, which stands for one minute. Now in summer, that's what I found is a good watering amount. You may need to adjust it a bit depending on your situation. In winter, you probably need to change it to come on maybe every two days or every three days for one minute, but it doesn't need that much water to make it all work. Uh, now underneath, we've got the uh, pressure regulator here. Remember I said that before about reducing the pressure so it's a good level. We've got a clamp here or a ratchet clamp here that's holding the pipe onto the actual fitting and then it goes down to an elbow at ground level and then across to our growing beds. All right, so we've just connected the water. It's all ready and going. And now we're just gonna adjust the Octi sprays because as you can see at the moment, it's hitting the edge of the geofelt bag, which we do not want. We want it to be hitting the soil about 10 centimetres in from the edge. So I'm just going to wind it down clockwise until it's about 10 centimetres in, which is just about there. That's all good. That's looking good. So those plants are going to be really happy. You'll find this will just be lush with spinach hmm. in a few weeks. They're going well. Maybe adjust the yep, other ones as the well. Other two. 
So this one here, you can actually see the water crystals, the little shiny things sitting on the surface when we added those in in episode one and they're soaked up with water. Okay, all done. So put the Our GF last, yeah, important step. We've got to put the uh, pest-free minis back over the top so that the uh, bugs and things can't get in. So we'll cover those over. And then we might just finish off showing you how to attach the ratchet clamps to the pipe because I skimmed over that bit before. So let's head back to the table. Now the same process of putting these fittings into the bigger pipe is simply to heat the pipe up in the water. So we'll use our trusty thermos again. Cue the lift music. And then we should be able to just push that in fairly easily onto the pipe. And then we get our clamp, because every time you do a join, you have to put a clamp on either part of the join. So we squeeze it with our fingers first, and then we use a pair of multi-grips just to tighten that up. And you'll hear the clicking sound, and it won't go any further. So that one's secure. And then we would do the same thing on the other side with another clamp. So if you have an elbow, there's two clamps on that. If you have a T, there's three clamps on that. On the website, we really try to make it simple. And on any of those fittings, when you buy them, it says, don't forget to buy two clamps at the same time. There's one other little thing you can do, and that's called a goof plug. Now, if you manage to poke a hole in your main tube and you don't want it there anymore, uh, there's these little parts called goof plugs that you just push into the hole. They just come in little and that, packs of that 10. That seals it again, yeah. Packs of 10. So yeah. probably 10 is ample for yeah. the amount of mistakes that you're gonna make. Wow. Okay, you'll be right. Prepare, okay. just in case. <laughs> so the things to remember, just to summarize, we're gonna use a 19 mil pipe that goes from your tap over to your main area that you wanna grow. Then we're using the micro tube that goes into each of the um, black gear felt planters. Now, Kayleen reminded me before, it's a good idea to bury the uh, tube in the ground, the main tube, or under your mulch, just so it stays a bit cooler in the sun, because the water can really get to high temperatures in the sun. Yeah. So I'm hoping that you're watching this and going, I reckon I could do that. Yes, Hopefully we've can. broken it down <laughs> that anyone could give this a go and it's not so daunting anymore. And then you'll have beautiful growing veggies. Now, look forward to the next uh, episode, which is gonna be all about, do you remember? No, no, I don't it's know. All it's all about the pests. Oh, the pests. All about the pests. So our <laughs> next episode, we're going to be talking all about the pests and how to stop them from munching all your vegetables. So thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.